Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If your battery light comes on while you're driving, then you probably need a new alternator. So today I'm going to show you how to check out your car's alternator and how to replace it if it's bad. Now I had to jump start this Toyota to get it going this morning so I know something's wrong with the charging system. So I'm going to test it with my trusty Medtronics tester. I just hook it up to the battery. One goes on the negative post and one goes on the positive post. And then press enter on the machine and it says problem. No charging voltage. So now we know. The alternator isn't putting any electricity out into the charging system. And I already had that figured out because this is a Toyota, and here's a trick that often works with Toyotas. In a Toyota, whenever you find that the battery light and the brake light is on at the same time, that means the alternator's gone bad. They just have a unique thing in their wiring system that when the alternator goes bad, the brake light will often come on at the same time telling you that the alternator is bad. Now before you try to take the alternator off, you should take one of the battery terminals off so you don't fry the electrical system while you're working. Just loosen one of the terminals and take it off. Then you go to the alternator and take the electrical connections off. Take the wires and put them out of the way. Then loosen the two bolts that hold the alternator onto the engine. There's a 14 millimeter on the top and a 12 on the bottom. Ugh, now comes the alternator. Now alternators are almost always only available rebuilt, so bring your old one when you go to get another one. And before you put that new alternator on, make sure that the battery is fully charged. So hook up your battery charger for about an hour before you start the car. Because a weak battery from the old alternator going bad can end up making the new one work too long and burn out quickly. Then get your new alternator and stick it back on the engine. Then tighten the bolts up and slip the fan belt on and then tighten the 12 millimeter adjusting nut until the fan belt is nice and snug. Then put on the electrical lead and tighten that up too. And remember to put the battery cable back on so you can start it. Then start it up. And voila, the battery light is off. And in this Toyota, you'll notice the brake light is off too because now that it's charging, that circuit works normal. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.